Hey, what's up everybody? Nicholas Kuzmich here from NicholasKuzmich.com and in this video I want to walk you through one of the latest and most recent Apple iOS updates and how that's actually affecting your ad account if you are in fact running any ads as of right now. So here's the deal. As of January 19th, um, literally overnight what had happened was based on the Apple iOS update, Facebook had changed some of their attribution models uh, when it comes to reporting in your ad account. And mainly the main attribution model that they changed was moving from a by default 28 day attribution model to an automatic seven day attribution model. Now, the problem with that is if you uh, set up your campaigns where you have multiple ad sets in a campaign, what tends to happen here is uh, you could be in your account like this and you're looking at, hey, wait wait a second, I just spent, let's say, $4,000 in the last couple of days on this campaign and I'm generating zero leads. That is a problem. Um, it might throw you off a little bit, but that's not actually the case. What you'll see over here is that there's multiple attribution settings and so Facebook can't come up with the sum total of what's actually happening in here. And that's because of this. Um, when Facebook had made this update, they applied the seven day attribution model to all active ads in your account, but all inactive ads or older ads had stayed to the 28 day attribution model. And so it's a little bit confusing and Facebook, you know, can't obviously come up with the sum total. So if you jumped in your ad account at the campaign level and you're looking at this and saying, Hey, I've spent a bunch of money, but I'm not generating leads. That's not in fact the case. Uh, when you move over to the ad set level, you will in fact see that all the actual active campaigns or the active ads that are happening in there, uh, are moved to a seven day attribution model. And then hence you can actually see the lead count and the lead cost. So that's a good thing. Now, this is, you know, what you generally have to keep in mind here is moving to a seven day attribution model means that when someone clicks on your ad, if they do not take a converting action within seven days, Facebook will no longer be able to report it. It used to be 28 days, now it's seven days. Now, if you're anything like me, most of your campaigns are lead generation campaigns. And so most people, generally speaking, if they click on an ad, are going to convert to a lead and then over to a purchase within a seven day window, generally speaking. Now, however, if you're doing some sort of e-commerce or something that requires multiple touch points, longer sales processes, et cetera, et cetera, um, this may impact your reporting because if it takes longer than seven days from the point of click on the ad, it may mean that in fact, you won't see that attribution. Now, one of the features that Facebook has put in their uh, reporting module here is if you go ahead and click custom columns and you go to compare attributions. And in this case, you can compare the new ones with, let's say, 28 day settings. What you can begin to see here is, is are your 28 day settings matching your seven day settings? Now, in this case, and again, maybe this is just because it's only rolled out in the last couple of days. They are, in fact, accurate for the most part, right? Uh, you, you can see the 28 day setting is the same as the seven day setting, which essentially means here, generally speaking, that most of these leads end up uh, or most of these clicks end up converting to leads within a seven day window. However, again, if you're doing maybe e-commerce or something that takes extra time to convert, you might see some of that drop off here. So this kind of comparison attribution model will help you understand that. The point here is the greatest thing you have to realize is, again, that Facebook has changed their attribution model in reporting. And so because of that, if you have active and inactive campaigns in particular campaigns here or ad sets in particular campaigns, you won't see the reporting come through and you'll see this message here of the attribution setting that there's multiple attributions again if you click over the little uh, the little eye here it'll tell you kind of what's up and, and what's going on same thing with results Facebook starts to tell you a little bit more about what's happening under these things so that's just a quick update for you uh, what does that mean for you it means if you're generating leads and most of your leads convert within a seven-day model there's not much to worry about or to think about or to do fortunately uh, you know the conversion happens and there won't be too much of a discrepancy that you might see if however your business model requires multiple touch points and an extended conversion window beyond seven days. Um, what we're seeing right now is that that 28 day attribution window is going away and Facebook is defaulting to seven days now. So you just want to keep that in mind when you're tracking because you might not see all that happen. Now, if you're using third party analytics like Google Analytics and Tag Manager, 
or some por- uh, some form of uh, third party tracking that may help alleviate the issue. But for the most part, uh, again, just don't be alarmed if you're not seeing some of your reporting come through on the campaign level. Move over to the ad set level, see what's happening there. And if you need to compare 28 day to seven day, you can do that by saying compare attribution and select your day count to figure out what works for you. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. And hey, if you are running Facebook ads and you'd like proven reliable ways to continually generate leads on your behalf, or you're looking for somebody to run your ad account for you, uh, go to workwithnick.com. Again, workwithnic.com. Uh, fill out a brief form there. We'd love to talk about how we can get you even better results running your ad campaigns. All right, all the best, and we'll talk again real soon.